Hey, this is Ken Casey from the Dropkick Murphys, and I love the Grandstander! <laughs> Take it away, kid. <laughs> Another edition of the Grand Sinners Live. I'm your host, Scott Kerman, and I'm joined by my usual cohorts, Uncle Joe McLaughlin, and he's the <laughs> Professor Russ Stevens, and he's JP's first son, Tim Hoey. Well, boys, we're back. We're back here in the studio. Welcome back, guys. It's great to see you all. Great to be here. Great to see handsome Todd Corbin. We have not been back in this studio wait, since. Wait, wait. Todd might have possibly got more yeah. handsome. <laughs> yeah. We might have a special only, guest that's coming in. We sure. may have. What's missing is the lovely and beautiful, uh, the talented Adrian. The, uh, exactly. Nice shout out there to the lovely and talented Adrian. Hopefully she'll be back. Judy. Family. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> but we're back in the studio first time since November 13th of 2019. Oof. Oh, my God. Nothing's happened since then. But lots of ha has happened in sports. Hopefully... Oh. Governor Michael Dukakis will be coming here any moment. We're sitting in that that seat, but I'm until, sitting in the hot seat. Until then, I think we can uh, figure out. Uh, Maybe a couple things to talk about. We only got about yeah. 19 months to cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. I don't even remember what happened November oh, of 2019. Yeah. Um, Brady was still the quarterback. Bra Tom Brady was still the he quarterback. Was. That's yeah. right, because then all of a sudden mm, things yeah. didn't go well. Um, we did 70 shows on Zoom, so I want to thank you guys for doing that Thanks, and participating, yeah. and thank you for Zoom, 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 <laughs> and thank you for Corbin for all his great work. All right, boys, we start. We have to start with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, as season ticket we holders, we now are all of us, Joe included, as a season to grandstanders. Yep. Yep. We're back in the grandstanders section 30. So check us we, out if you guys are moving we sure up in the world. <laughs> Absolutely, great seats. It is great I seats. I sat there the other day; they were tremendous. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy with them. Um, you were the last one to come. Go there. Yeah. yeah, I know. All right. So Red Sox, are they tanking? Are they quit? Are they're, they you quitting? Know, are or they are they just not that good? We're back to the old days. They build us up. They suck us in. And then they crush our hearts into little pieces. No, right? they are who we thought they were. At the no, beginning Joe, but they the still, no, they no, still, no, they that. still let us along, right? Once yep. again, we believed. Well, the starting pitching in the first half was way better than we ever thought it could be, and the bullpen was way better than we thought it could be. Yeah. Now they've reverted to form. They could beat the Clevelands and the Baltimore's the world, but they don't win else. No, they reverted to form because they're playing. Like ten AAA players a night because yeah. they've got ten guys on the COVID list. But no, absolutely. and they're playing them out of position and to boot. Playing everybody out, of, they're going to be fine. No, they were look. No, I mean, really. When, when, be before fine. COVID, they were having a very poor August. Yeah, they were having a poor August, but the pitchers ran off about probably three or four starts each. The top three guys, things were looking up. Yeah. No, they really ago. were. Yeah, things were looking You're up right. a week ago. We were we were two games ahead in the wild card. Things were looking up, and then everyone got COVID, and we were playing guys literally I have never heard of. Yeah, well, they were yeah. taking yeah, guys I was, off the I street. was there the other night, and I didn't know half the people on the field. I was uh, no, when you had, Googling. Yeah, Arouz you know and I mean? Jack Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like I someone mean, from Hawaii 5 who started a game the other night. Was it Cutter Crawford? Yeah. Cutter Crawford could have come into my house, sat down at my dinner table, <laughs> and, and I would have had any idea that he was a with a Cutter for a Crawford Sox. jersey on. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. I know it was. It so was bizarre. I, I, I'm here to tell you, it's going to be fine. They're going to get these guys back. The, the, our top three pitchers are good. I know uh, uh, Rodriguez got hammered yesterday. They're going to be okay. So, so you, you're saying playoffs. They're not going. Well, they're going to make the playoffs. PK they're going to lose. Back, they're that, not going to win the that'll championship. That'll help out that that off. That outfield has just been, been terrible. a disaster. 
yeah. went with the move. I think Kike's back. I think he played. Yeah, well, night, he's right? been a key guy, and you know, obviously, I didn't like him early in the yeah. season. But with the, as Kiki goes, so goes the Red Sox. Yeah, because right Verdugo's a great left fielder. He stinks in terrible in center field. Same with Renfro. Take him out. He's fine and right. Take him out. And so him. you were at the game where they hit the inside the park home run. Oh, you must have been no, inside you. no. Oh, I, I thought you were there. No. I was at the game where uh, they they came back from six to nothing. Oh, all right. And it was a game, and I left. An inning early, and I get in my car, and it was like eleven to five instead of six to five. Yeah. I said I just left just in time. No, they're they're going to be fine. I really do believe that they're going to make the wild card. They're not as good. They're not as good as Tampa. No one's no no Tampa. no. That's a bad matchup. Tampa yeah. matches. How's no, Tampa so good? Bad, How's Tampa, Tampa so good? good just Why drafted, is Tampa so good? They've drafted, they've drafted very very Tampa's well. Tampa's good because Heim so, Bloom. Heim Bloom was involved. What's their payroll compared to the Red Sox? Tiny. Oh, one third. But just give Heim time. Yeah, and Haim we trust. <laughs> yeah, Haim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. And like during Rosh Hashanah. Like exactly. Look, Haim's done a fantastic job even getting the Hunter Renfros of the world off the scrap heap. Tampa gave him, gave us Hunter Renfro That's right. for free. Right. That's remarkable. And look, Schwarber. Schwarber is fantastic. Oh, excellent. The game fantastic. I went to, it wasn't excellent, but. No, he's, he's been. Fantastic. I don't know, but. And they, they're very sharp at the deadline. Who did they pick up? Nelson Cruz, who is just oh man, outstanding. Well, he's, he's outstanding. incredible. He, he just the guy just he's hey, he, they fired the, they they beat him to the punch and made him look silly. Now yeah. you're taking Schwarber. As Although Schwarber's, I, I've never he's, he's been it's, fine. Been he's a, good on base. Been a good guy, pickup. I, you know, nothing special. Look, I, I address this to the professor. The best story that may have come out of this season is that Chris Sale. We may get something for our money in Chris Sale. Thank God. You know where where I stood on that extension, right? Yeah. Exactly. So because Chris Hill could have been Last game a five game. year, hundred and fifty million dollar disaster, yeah. making Pablo Sandoval look like a good contract. So now we think he's durable. No, no. but he's no. got a couple of years on his arm. I mean, he's got a new Tommy John. It's almost arm. like they give him a new arm when yeah. they do this. Tommy yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's like they hook a new yeah. bionic yeah. arm onto yeah. them or something, but right? Like uh, I, I think it's you that. Always says he's gonna break it again because of that delivery. Oh, he's it's a tough delivery. And Tanner Houck has the same delivery. Same delivery, yeah. right? Yeah, mirror image. Look, but are we gonna get something for him? Yes. Is he gonna go into next season the number one starter and one of the number one starters in baseball? Yes. And we know that's how you build a pitching staff. So, playoffs or no playoffs? Playoffs, because again, Oakland has no depth. We might not have any depth. Yeah. No, no, Oakland. Joe. The Mariners and the Blue Jays. Yes. They've come. Oh, the Blue Jays are the ones you're going to be That's scared who of. scares me the most. That lineup's tremendous. Oh, my God. So, playoffs or no playoffs? No playoffs. Really? You no, flopped on us. No you playoffs. Were Dr. No, ha- you no were, doc- Zoom, you were Dr. Happy at the beginning no, of the Dr. year. Dr. Yeah. Though I would only say the caveat is we do play the Orioles six more times. Yeah. And the Orioles have given up completely. And you cannot. Lose. I don't believe that this team has given up. I think they play sloppy baseball, and, <coughs> and Alex Cora has got some explaining to do. You know, so we have like twenty games. I think a lot right? of that. Yeah. Yeah. guys yeah. playing out of position and not. Yeah, although that was happening. All right, so when 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 does the uh, resurgence begin? When these because guys come back from the COVID list. Yeah, they get Xander back. They get Xander back. Yeah. They get Kike back. When does they that happen? We have 20 games left. It's got to happen quick. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Well, they're going to have key games, and they have to three stop making these against the Mariners four error games. You know what I mean? They, oh, they got to, they got to get their base it, running back. I mean, just don't shoot yourself in the foot. They have literally been shooting. You know, I watch uh, high school baseball games, and it's who makes the fewest mistakes, who plays yeah. the cleanest games, and the Red Sox just are not playing clean baseball. So, the, the, and this is something, and this is probably for another day, but we're going to have a little Xander Bogarts uh, conversation at some point in time when he when he decides to tank his contract and and come back in for thirty five million a year for seven. Oh, I years. don't know. Yeah, I, I wonder if he's more valuable to the Red Sox than he is to anyone else. But you're gonna you're gonna pay him to play shortstop at thirty no, million not a play. year. He's a, he's the left fielder. He's a left fielder, Washington. right? Yeah. There's no question. Yeah. yeah, we're good or not, we all agree. And yeah. look, good. I, and, if, and if he's gonna make a stink like he did when they put him at third base. Oh, I can't look at that oh, again. No. Yeah, see you later. No, but they sent him a message. It's called Marcelo Mayer. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they didn't draft Mayer, who apparently trends to be like a a Crawford, Brandon Crawford, defensively. He's not going anywhere. Cutter Crawford. No, <laughs> I know you're not going to get over that. Cutter, no. cutter at the table so yeah, strike. so Mayor, and we see with like Nick York, 
who's <laughs> who's Been probably going to be too. the second baseman for the Red Sox next year. Yeah. These guys will go up quickly if they're studs like this. Xander, that's going to be part of the negotiation. You have to play left field. And right, you're not you're a great left fielder. You're not getting paid 30 No million. shame in playing left field. It's, no no it, shame. No, no, it's actually a lot easier on the on the body. Plus, if all those zeros right? are still behind yeah. your check, right? Ted Williams, Kyle Yastrzemski. I know. Jim Rice. Ramirez, yeah. Jim Rice. Mike Greenwell. Mike Greenie. Greenie. But you'd be getting offense from Xander in left field that you have not gotten from exactly. left field yeah. in a long time since Manny left. That's right. That yes. would be a nice, you know, a nice place to put him. You're getting a nice piece out there. You know, getting production that you expect from the left fielder. Get, probably get an excellent defense out of him. Yeah. you got to get Haim on the phone right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on yeah, the well, phone. You have to have Haim on the show. Uh, okay, the, the reason we're sitting here and Haim sits in that fancy seat up there is because we wanted Bobby Dell back out of here for Anthony Rizzo. That deal would have haunted us, apparently, for a uh, long what time. Missing? What don't I know right Bobby now? Bobby Dahlbeck is putting up numbers in August. He won, what, what, he won player Only of the when month. Only they bench him. But he put one player of the it's month. Fine. <laughs> Whatever it takes. You combine Rookie his numbers with against month. Anthony Rizzo and Gallo. Yeah, he's and better. And he's better. Gallo's yeah. been a bust. Really? But he, but he can't play defense, though, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby so you T think, can't you think, play defense. Do you think sustainable? Or oh. no. no. No, I don't think and he is when either. You put him in the that's what starts to everyone out of position. Look, by the way, if, if you know, another interesting thing will be Schwarber or J.D., Right, if that would if be interesting. They would love to have that option. Yeah. To, well, yeah. I think he's still platoon Dahlbeck and Schwarber. Yeah, I'm good with that. You, you, you don't that. you don't put Dahlbeck in as a regular. You no, don't do I it. agree with that. Joe, he's a, a rookie and has over he has 20 home runs. Yeah, but he's, he he's got some yeah, awards. He he missed a lot. lot. In, in in the defense is atrocious. Yeah. I don't know why. But you know, why is his defense atrocious? No, I'm saying it is because no, I know it is. But he's supposed be. to be a stud third yeah. baseman. Yeah, he right. shouldn't be. Not that Schwab is going to be any great shakes there either. But at least you get a continuity of the offense. And the other guy, the outfield doesn't get put out of position. Second place base isn't playing out of position. Too many, when drawbacks in there, too many people get out of position. Okay, guys. J.D. Martinez is not opting out of anything. Not a chance. No, you'd have no. to have so, him opt in and then try to trade him. Yeah. I like J.D. I like having J.D. He's fine, him. but I, I'd take Schwarber yeah. over him. He's yeah. seven years younger than him. I, I think Bloom acquired Schwarber, from what I read, to keep him. I, I thought it was he, J.D.'s option to it opt is. It is. It and is. And I can't see him opt out. <coughs> he's, he's not going to opt out. Get, he's not gonna <coughs> no, you're going to trade him. I'm fine with having J.D. hang around. He's, yeah, he's fine. But does he's, he have any kind of trade restrictions? Do you no, know? not if he opts in. No, you can nobody's trade him. Gonna, nobody wants J.D. Martinez at that number. No you don't know. Well, if the National League picks up the D.H. next year, you're going to have oh, you're going to have you're telling me more teams. Somebody, yeah. somebody like uh, the uh, on the cusp on the edge wouldn't welcome that guy. Right. He's a machine. He's a production. Yeah, machine. if they have the D.H. over there, but yeah. otherwise he, he's a he's a butcher in the field. No, I like. Oh, oh no, he, I don't he's mean played the field. a lot yeah. in the field yeah. recently. Yeah. I like J.D. Martinez. I like him a lot, man. I mean, you can't even hide him in left field in Fenway. You know, he's. And those guys, those big sluggers don't grow on trees. They'll keep them, but we're the Boston Red Sox. We've got plenty of dough. J.D. is the epitome of a yeah. professional hitter. He's a professional hitter. And how much are we blaming? Uh, I wait. All right, so this is a collapse somewhat. I know it's COVID and all that stuff. But does Alex Corey get the blame for the horrible fundamentals? Oh, he has yeah. to take he's some got, of it. He has to take a share of the blame for it. Yeah, um, They absolutely. take the credit when it's going good, yeah. right? Him and Haim have to take credit for the, the failings of this team they've put together, uh -huh. too. You know, the Tampa Rays play, uh, they, uh, before the game, they do infield and outfield. Yeah. Every game. They Why should. don't those Red Sox do that? That Because it just, it's, it, it, their, their argument would be, it's not in their culture. I don't care about the culture. Go take some infield practice. You guys are terrible. Yeah. I mean, what, yeah. what? it used to be, well, wasn't Butters was always hitting infield to the same guys. Oh, Johnny Pesky. Yeah. <laughs> he made a Takes second career out practice. Of it. But he used to, for older sets, know this, but for the younger set, he used to go to the game and watch oh, the, way, watch the Red Sox take them. Isn't, by the way, isn't no taking fun. infield practice kind of fun? Yeah, right. Like, it's fun, isn't yeah. it? it yeah. Do these guys not have fun? It's, yeah. it's, but why aren't they practicing their crap game? That's when you're going around with your teammates and 
throw the ball behind right. your back and that. Uh, you know, it's Brady's famous thing. I don't. I get better on Tuesday and Wednesday. I don't get better in the game. That's right. You know? I, you know, I, I know knew that they didn't do that, and I didn't realize till recently that the Rays do do that. Well, look at the fundamentals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're losing. We're losing on little things right now. I yeah, mean, we've butts. lost games. We probably lost. Seven, eight games just on little fundamental Absolutely. Yeah. Seven, eight games. You're right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, we've and been Cora, Cora has to take some blame for that. Right. It, it looks like they're, they're losing focus, especially as the game gets on. As you get to the later innings is when more, the mistakes really start to compound themselves. Yeah. Are they not getting a night's sleep or no, something? No, we said it before. It's a, it's a game. Baseball is such a game of little – you know, my mother even said it. But, you know, she started watching my son's high school games. She said, I didn't realize how many – of the little things turn out to be the deciding factor in the game. Somebody missing a cutoff man, somebody getting thrown yep. off with a big lead, things like that. And uh, the Red Sox are failing in that category, and that definitely goes on the manager. Okay. Is it a fireball <laughs> offense? No, no, no. Because no. <clears throat> we know Bloom did not want Alex Cora. No, it's not fireable. They, they're not going to pin this on Cora. They, they're going to have a, a zillion excuses. No one expected this team. No. Nah. To, to be, to be over this competitive this year. So no one's getting fired. Now, if they go out and, and stink it up again in the field next year, then someone's getting fired. For them, for us even to be talking like this right now is a huge success story, I would think the Red Sox would think right now. Right? This, we weren't supposed to be talking like this right now. We were supposed to be talking this like we were Orioles fans right or, now. Or right now, any sports show is talking football. football. First, yeah. first week yeah. of the season. Look, the fact is that the Red Sox, obviously, sale was coming in injured, have had really – Good health, as far as the pitching staff, the starting pitchers. Yes, they have. Yeah, and, hey, that, and, and that that's been very important in the consistency. Yeah. I will give them credit for this though. It's fun to go to the Red Sox again. Oh, well, absolutely. It's fun. It hasn't been fun for a while. Well, you don't have. Well, I mean, we, well, we had last year with COVID and everything and like that. COVID, 19, you know, 17, yeah. 17, so eight, eighteen. Yeah. And 19 <laughs> and 20, yeah. no, 19 was a wash. Industrial yeah. waste is not dripping on your head. Uh, true, so, true. I used to have that leak right on my head out section in Section 8, eight you did right? not see the field. And they didn't uh, care. The they didn't care. Section 30, we oh, actually Scotty, see you remember, the field. we uh, tickets went for like 35 bucks. You couldn't get $10 for them on uh, on the aftermarket. I mean, now it's like people have an interest. I, in and my, young people. And my daily, my kids watch the Red Sox now. They they weren't That's watching. That's what I before. noticed at the park going to the A lot of young people. A lot, lot more young people. Oh, it got really yeah. young. Really yeah. young. Wow. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's COVID. So whatever they're doing, they're, no, they, 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 they have they, my interest. There was an interview with their marketing director last week, and they've made a concerted effort. They're giving like $7 tickets for students. Yeah, students and a lot seven. of kids are taking oh, okay. advantage of oh, that. Oh, yeah. they sure are. And so they yeah. send out a text, and they say $7 tickets, so these kids swarm into the park. Oh, yeah. A lot of college kids going in there. Okay. The high school oh, okay. kids, no, everyone. Yeah, yeah. You yeah my kids are taking advantage student. of that. You should sign up for that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to enjoy the Whatever you get. Scott, he'll put his old high school. School jacket on. <laughs> yeah. Put the yeah, uh, just for men in the hair. And <laughs> just for men. Here we go. Uh, all right, so <laughs> we're gonna go to the New England Patriots. I can't I wait. Know. I can't wait. But for Sunday. what kind of a job does the NFL getting us freaking pumped up for football? I mean, like I'm chopping at the bit. I got a little college football last weekend. That Georgia Clemson game was yeah. very exciting. My nephew goes to Georgia. He was at the game. He was FaceTiming me from the game. But Maybe I mean, I, I'm, I'm fired up. For the Patriots. Of course, right? 425. Days How on fire up would it be if Cam Newton was the starting quarterback? Oh, my and God. And we didn't have another guy. No, I, would, I, would, I don't know about you guys. I was looking forward to watching the defense no matter what. Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. I've been looking forward to watching all of it at yeah, this yeah. point. But I mean, well, if, I would have thought, you know, when Cam would – Matt's not going to be much different from the offense they would have run with Cam, especially in these first But if we games. were going in with Cam and no Mac and just some other free agent – I'm more excited but, having a rook, the oh, rookie of course, in And kind of – how, how he's looked so far. I mean, it's exciting. <coughs> he's good. Yeah, he's and, good. And, and, and I, this bullshit that I heard this week, you know, that he's already hit his peak. No. There are a lot That's of people think. I'm like, what, the one, ca- one caveat. The I guy has been one game. Is, remember, Brian Flores cut his teeth and learned under yeah. Belichick about how. To and rattle. You know, and you know Belichick's oh. record against rookie Feasts on them. quarterbacks. Yeah. I'm sure Look, Brian Flores picked up he's, a thing. He's going to lay three eggs this year in games. Yeah, and you're going to be miserable because our star boy quarterback, you're going to have <laughs> doubts. But yeah. the fact is, yeah. rookie, quarterbacks, worse, rookie p- quarterbacks make mistakes, and he's going to get better. He does not have an NFL body yet. Take no, a look at that. In, oh in a year or two, it's going to look completely different. 
Yeah, Remember got, Brady? They they spoon fed Brady six yard passes, four yard passes, he, eight yard passes. He'd only pass like 10, 15 times a game. Bra- and yeah. gets and he used to get sacked. Remember Brady used to get sacked all the time. Brady, they treated the passing game for Brady like the running game. It was like a version of the running yeah. game, little screens and dinky things. Oh yeah, and, to, to widen the field. Yeah. It was all stuff to go wide. Yeah. Yeah, I've dated girls who had smaller breasts than mm-hmm. Mac Jones. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely gonna work on it. Yeah. He's he's a mess. Sit ups. And he's gonna and he's <laughs> gonna learn. When I was shirt he's off. gonna I learn the do cigar. Do I, do I not want to? When they know, when they won the should I pull it up with my phone? He's the title. gonna learn. He's gonna learn defenses. He's when gonna get used to the speed of the game. His body will get better. He'll get much better. That's why I think it'll be a low scoring game. Flores learned a thing or two about what to do with rookie quarterbacks. Belichick obviously knows what to do with rookie quarterbacks. I consider Tua still a rookie. It's going to be a low Oh, I can't game. wait for Joe's prediction. <laughs> Joe, what's, it's not good. Guys, what's hey, going to happen? Sure. That looks like me. He looks like me. I tell you. Without, <laughs> without all the hair. <laughs> I, 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 terrible. When Jimmy gets a Brazilian. <laughs> look, yeah, look. He's, Mac yeah. Jones is going to be throwing a lot of passes on first down and running the ball on third down. He's going to... When, when you think he's going to pass, he's going to run. They're going to protect the hell out of him. You're not, I mean, they got a great punter. Why not play field position? You know? <laughs> Joe is just, Joe is just, is is not bought in on this team yet. I mean, no, uh, no, understandably I so. It. I want to see it. We he got rid of your old it. girlfriend, Sony Michelle. So, Why so, bad? Joe. Oh, Joe. I'm happy about that. I mean, that. I, I, I wouldn't say our, our wide Joe, the series. nicest thing that he said is they have a good punter. I know. <laughs> I know. Right, exactly. Yeah. Let's see. Our D line, <laughs> our D line looks so solid. Our linebacking core is as good as it's been in a long time. Our offensive line is good. We have a stable of running backs. What about We've the set some decent backs? side ends, right? I mean, we're not lighting the world on fire with our wide receivers. I mean, the pieces are in place here, guys. Look, Janome Smith is a wide receiver. If you guys think he's a tight end, you're wrong. He's a wide receiver. That's his position. He's not going to... He's going to be standing up most of the time he's, when he's... He's a fullback, is what he is. No. no. What are you talking about? He's huge. He's an H-back. He's not big like Hunter Henry. Smith is bigger than Hunter Henry, isn't he? Um, he's 20 pounds lighter. He's, he's, he's lighter, more like but the he's Hernandez. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. Okay, I'll give you that. Yeah. Okay, but he's back. He two, can four, two forty-five. Line up in, in, in line. But tight do you end. think Smith's going to do a lot of blocking? He can line up in line, but he's more likely to line up off. Joe, like, like, like two forty, like two forty, two forty-five. Two forty. But a lot of yeah. screens to him. Yeah, they're yeah. going to get oh, the yeah. ball to him so he's he can the, run with it. I don't think it. he's going to. He's. I think Hunter Henry will be the in line tight end. He'll be the one that. Lines up yeah. offset. So he, you know, if he gets some field, he can run. He can run. He can run when he gets. He, evidently, it, right? his strength is yards after the catch. You yeah. get him the ball in space, and he's going like to do Hernandez. a lot of things with it. I mean, yeah, yeah. He's got. He's got. Some, he's got some skills. Some moves yeah. with the ball. Yeah. In red zone. Oh, big and tall. Wait. Yeah. That's, that's too. Uh, oh, the red zone. They. They. Have Look at you getting Joe excited improved. over here. There you go. Red. They. They. The offense is vastly improved in the red zone. If Cam had had those two, he might even look good last year. You, all of a sudden, you have Smith and Henry, right? You have probably James White and Stevenson in there, and Nikhil Harry at six. Oh, three for God! And I know you, I don't want to put my eggs in that basket on, either. But, but I, I think on offense, we're missing the big. They're just gonna, they're going to be a running team. Yeah. yeah, this is just going to be. They're yeah. going to just try to jam the ball down yeah. people's throats and give this kid play act easy play yeah, action right. passes. Exactly. Stevenson. Did, didn't, uh, Brady. Right. Brady was never any good unless yeah, he had let me that tell play you, action going. Brady right. would have looked. Brady would have looked horrible on this team last year. He would have. He would have been, he he been so miserable he if I had to watch him walk off the field, shaking his head and throw his helmet yeah. on one more time. Was, I'm glad he left because I would not have. Brady wanted, horrible last year. Until they got their run, Tampa got that running game going, and his, they had to respect his play action. That's his best. Yeah, I mean, he would have been, it would have been an ugly exit from the NFL for Tom Brady if he had stayed here last year. Would have been, we, oh yeah, like like oh, a no lot question. of his cachet, I think, would have gone. But I, that was a great yeah, move he, him he going. Doesn't, yeah, he doesn't. He's not winning any Super Bowls last year with that team, and they no, weren't even no, trying not to even win in a the Super Bowl. Playoffs, Bowls. maybe. They were trying to tank. He would have thrown every ball, every fourth ball. He would have thrown no, in they, the dirt. They, they were driving us crazy because they kept winning. So, no, Scotty, I got a question for you. In a plane, it's going down. There's three: you, Jimmy G, and Mac Jones, and there's two parachutes. What are you doing? <laughs> Jimmy G's gonna. God bless him. He's lived a long, really? and wonderful life. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mac Daddy's the guy. There's no question. 
Mac Daddy's the quarterback for the Patriots. If they, wait, 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 wait. If, if they were to, like to, yeah. like Jimmy. If yeah, they were to trade, trade yeah, okay, okay so that. tomorrow, though, they, <laughs> oh my tomorrow, God. Adrian, they, I'm watching I'm Adrian. Fickle. I'm I've turned on him. Tomorrow, they, they decide they could get Jimmy G for a fourth round draft pick. You excited? Fourth round draft pick to back yeah. him up? Yeah. For Jimmy sure, G. Well, to compete off, for to the job. Over. No, I don't think, no, to I don't want him to compete the job. To start over. No, no, I, I want Mac Jones. Okay. I think he's a better quarterback. I'd like to okay. get Mac a little. Ultimately. I'd like to bring okay. Mac in about we, this game is on. This is on tape, right? Yeah. Mac I, I'd Jones. I'd like to bring Mac what, in. What is special about YouTube. Mac Jones is the long ball and his, his touch, and he's able to drop it in. They okay. saw that in the Senior Bowl, too, what he's able to do. Uh, uh, oh, that rainbow. Uh, yeah, he's very good with that. With Tom Brady, was Tom Brady ever good with the long ball? Well, no, Tom, yeah, was, when, Tom, was, when, Tom was different. Tom would throw the ball so it could not be intercepted. So when Moss was he here, he was regular with the grass. long ball. Yeah, right. When he could that? just throw it as far as he could, Randy Moss would go out and get it. We have to kill Harry. Yeah. It'd be <laughs> fine. <laughs> How long does Nick Wait, no, I, I, I worry Harry about, should be red zone only because I can't trust no, I, 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 I worry about uh, Mac. <laughs> just, a, a rookie is a rookie is a rookie. Of you know course. What I mean? And the yeah. NFL is the NFL. And, and I... I worry about him just getting fed to the wolves rather quickly here. And Alabama quarterbacks have a history uh, since Joe Namath of no, not being nothing. very good. No. Yeah. I mean, uh, all right, so a couple of predictions. Uh, Mac Jones throws more, 20 or more passes or less. A game on average? This, no, this game. Oh, over. Yeah, 100%. Over. Over. The Dolphins yeah. over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game? Yeah. This is I, I don't think that's a high number. Oh, yeah. If you had yeah. said 25, you had said 30, I might be wondering about but how about 25? I think he'll throw close to 30 passes. Yeah. Oh, 25 okay. to 30 yeah. passes. Woody Hayes yeah. isn't the coach. Yeah. Under 20 passes is the correct answer. You watch. Oh. They, you think he, they're going to protect him. So don't burn they the tapes, do not, Todd. I'm calling 25. 25. Look, Bill Belichick understands that you all the under pressure 20. that's on Mac. Jones, under 20, you're saying. Under, no yes, way. absolutely. If they can just key up for the run, Scotty, any NFL team, if, if, the, if they just know you're running, you're, you're not They'll going anywhere. They'll be 10 in the box. There's gonna you watch under twenty. Well, if they if it's under twenty, they're gonna lose the game. Also, I I, I have faith in the defense. The no, defense under twenty. If they throw the ball under twenty, I'd say they win. The defense will score. Joe, if there's no two. threat of a run, it's like it's like a, taking the curveball away from a pitcher. If you know the fastball's coming every time. Yeah, but if they don't, if they be, get behind, they'll have to throw. And then right, they'll what, be throwing. What's the next prediction? Points. Well, first of all, so if Matt Judon stays healthy, which is always a big if. He will be the other than Mac Jones, the second most. He's popular been player. fairly yeah. healthy throughout his career. Yeah. He'll be the second. Well, I think you're right. He plays remember. hard. He's going to have a good, yeah. number five, I think. Yeah, Nine. right. Nine. He's going to be the guy. Fun. He's yeah. going to be the guy. Defensive player of the year. You, you could oh, possibly. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't Twenty possibly. sacks. Well, they use him like they're that. They're talking about him like he's Superman. Well, but, they use they use him with. Like he's already played all seven first of the. I love those seven. linebackers that wear like number two. Like yeah, he's going to be number you nine. Well, let's yeah. cruise I love that. Did he go to that in college, too? Don't know. I have no idea where he went I to remember college. seeing those college guys. They're like number eight in their line. No, they, they used to do that. Yeah, they, they seem do to be college, everywhere yeah. on like, yeah, like, you know, the, this tackle, that tackle, the tackle there, tackle there. But the advantage is Tom Brady has the advantage of where every quarterback now, because he's so smart, he can figure that out. Other he's quarterbacks are going to 20 years of oh. looking at these defenses, not just watching them in games, but in film for all so these you years. think you think it's a defensive back who's coming at you and it's really judon that makes a huge difference right yeah i'm sure Derek carr is going to be all yeah, over 50 this 50 pounds worth of difference <laughs> yeah i mean the, right the idiot quarterbacks are just going to get the idiot you know, quarterbacks are going to have out. a tough time i mean that's where the numbers people don't realize that that's huge well the biggest complainer of the rule has been tom brady yeah. he doesn't like it no, yeah. but he's going to be the take advantage of it because he's the smartest quarterback. Well, he'll know in he, the history he of football. He points out the mic every time. Him, Manning, a few of the quarterbacks immediately identify the mic for the rest of the offense. Yeah, well, he knows everything. What's the spread? Brady. What is it? For uh, it was three and a half. Three and a half. Down to two and yeah, a half. it's been bet down by the Dolphins. Oh. All right, Pats. the Patriots. Are the, yeah. Pats are favored two and a half. Who's yeah. going to win, Joe? That's kind of a slap in the face. Give me of the a score. Dolphins. I like the Patriots seventeen thirteen. Oh, so all right, there you go. So you're in my theory, the low scoring. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got I, a lot I, of passes. I agree with that. All right, Timmy. I think Matt gets picked uh, three times. They oh, lose. holy shit. They lose 21 to 10. He's doing the thing. He's Why doing the reverse doing thing again. He's doing his he's, reverse uh, jinx. <laughs> uh, he, all right, uh, I said, 20, I said uh, what I said. 21 to 20, Patriots. Wow. Yeah. And who kicks the winning field goal? 
Well, they're going to uh, score a touchdown. They, 21. Touchdowns. Yeah. See, oh, okay. I think this is 20. not your old. This is not. Oh, your, but it, that, that's a good point. Who is the kicker? A game. Oh, that's a great this, question. This is Nicole. not the old. And Dolphins. we need to do year predict predictions, record predictions, don't we? Oh, we full year. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, What's Chris, your? Did you like what I sent you? The Twitter thing about the that you could uh, take two players. Yeah. Off the practice 55 squad. Fifty-five man have a 55 squad. Yeah. Man, yeah. Well, that's why everyone has a kicker on the practice squad right. this yeah. year. Because what if in the pregame test, yeah. someone comes up positive, your kicker comes up oh, positive, right. oh, you yeah. have to have a kicker on the road with you. Oh, wow. And a quarterback. Yes. It's always, oh, wow, I didn't realize that. But I thought that was very interesting, the whole yeah. 50. Is that COVID-related or was that? Yeah. yeah. Was like, he said it was in the CBA. No, no, no. It was just like a codicil to the CBA. For this year, it was yeah, it was know, just added, in. added yeah. for this year. Okay, it isn't a permanent type thing. Okay, predictions for the game, Russell. I just predicted the game. <laughs> no, no, oh, oh, right. oh, season. season. Oh my! Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't make it's been a while. Freaking mistake. Um, I actually think I'm I'm guessing uh, I'm going to say ten and seven. I, I think we're a little aggressive. We're playing seventeen. Yeah, games I think it's season. a little aggressive to think they're going to win 12, 13 yeah. games. I agree too. The kid's going to blow a couple games. Wow. They'll make the playoffs. Though. Tim. I see 10 and 7 too. Just because I think that, that, that they're going to show a lot of positives. There's some good teams out there with some good. Co- like the Dolphins, I think you guys are underrated. The Dolphins, Flores is an excellent oh, coach. They were a playoff team. They were a very good team. So, I, I mean, as good as I think the Patriots are, I think Miami's got to be a very good team. They're not the old Dolphins that we used to walking over. This is a Flores coached, capable team. So, no, I'm going I- 10 and 7 too. I, Uncle Joe. Well, I'll be uh, more the glasses half full. I'll go with. Well, the we're ten and 11. sevens full. Well, I, I'll go. I think you'll need at least eleven wins to make the playoffs, and I think they'll make the wild card in at eleven and six. Okay. Well, you know, obviously, I was Here brilliant in my prediction Here for the Red Sox, though. They got to get to ninety, or um, but uh, yeah, he's, you guys going to say twelve? Sit, yeah, 12 uh, thirteen and, five. and four. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. And four. That you are underestimating this defense. It's that good. Is Mac Jones that good looking? <laughs> I didn't realize he was that Mac good. Jones, it's, I think got it's his personality. Mac Jones it's his personality. is like really? a blushing, child. He's, blushing. he's like a baby. Have you <clears> seen <throat> him talk? He's got a high-pitched voice, too. He was he's poised on him. I heard him on the radio. He's very poised on the radio. He's like an eight-year-old. But he he's does, already doing he the Patriots speak. He's already doing Patriots speak. He does look like a high school freshman up there. At the uh, are Max... Are the other are boys older than him or younger than him? Or the same age? How old is he? God. 23? He's 20, no, he's tw- the boys yeah. are 21. Yeah. I have a son that's 24, so I have a son that's older than the Patriots. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wow. We, and we're older and you're the same age as Tom Brady. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> we're older than every player who's playing in, in any oh, sport yeah, right now. Oh, been, been that yeah. way for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Soon we're going to be older than any coach. All right, do we have time to go some more Celtics? Um, are you gonna, no, I, I don't know. All right, well, I figure. All right. The professor's going to go. Oh, so that, that was a lot of fun. All right, all right, the voice fun. of reason all right. is leaving the building. Okay. All right, we'll see you. It's all downhill from yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, let's do any, some. Uh, any facts that were really brought up are now gone. Yeah. That was just <laughs> fiction. So, uh, guys, we're hoping Take everything still. everything else with the greatest I feel thought. bad now because we're supposed to have Governor Dukakis on the show. I don't know where he is. I hope everything is okay. Um, uh, <clears throat> so, um, but, you know, it would be terrible if we uh, finish the show and... <laughs> Governor Takaki. He thought it was seven thirty, not through six door. So I think we continue. Uh, Todd Corbin, is that okay? You guys can come in. We're all family here. It's a, <laughs> it's a Brookline family. Yeah, we got ten. Ten, we got ten. Okay. Okay. Thank ten you, Corbin. Minutes. All right. So I, I don't. So clearly, um, Governor Takaki is not going to be on the show tonight. We'll have to reschedule with him. But we go to the Celtics, and um, are they set? Are there, are there, Celtics all well, I don't think they have any room to make any more moves other than, I, you know, they got a bunch of training camp bodies like uh, Luke Cornett is, is back. He is? I didn't, they wait, signed wait. him to a two-way. He, he'll probably go down to the Oh, I didn't see that. He signed Celtics. some other kid. Oh, I didn't see well, that. Well, do you think we, we I, I think we don't have the worst bench in the NBA right now. Oh, yeah. Now which now which, which, which is unquestionably yeah. the worst yeah. bench in the now NBA. Now our bench will be in Maine. Our yeah. bench this year will be in Maine. We'll have legitimate NBA yeah. players. Yeah. I mean, on the we bench. won't have like 18. If I had to watch picks, Carson Edwards run on that court again in the Celtics Waters uniform. And I mean. Trey Waters, Carson Edwards, Shemi, Shemi Taco Grant Falls, Williams. Grant Williams, Romeo Langford. <laughs> 
Uh, Aaron and Neesmith obviously showed some promise, yeah. but he's still um, Luke Cornett, uh, w- Wagner. Wagner. I mean, gee, well, oh my God, <laughs> it's wonder we won any games. I know. It was like it was like a whole triple a triple A type team just. But that shows you how good Tatum and Brown is. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean that, that that we won any games that we went to the playoffs and that we competed. I know. Terrible. I know. But what we needed were veterans. And when we got Richardson, I thought that's what he's trying to do, and that's what he's trying to do. Yeah, well, he, he, he kind of reminds me what he's doing, what Brad's doing right now. Is kind of reminding me of Heim a little bit. Yeah. Kind of, well, I don't know. They seem to be. Well, they're kind of build, build. They're building, you know, not just the stars. They're kind of building the foundation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they like right. uh, the, you know, putting the pieces in places one at a time. You know and what I great mean? Great role players can be traded for someone good. Yeah. And the other thing I'm seeing, as much as getting these contracts in, he's he's now making a more tr- a viable trade chip. You know what I mean? This chip is signed, sealed. He's Promoting all we got to do is all, yeah. could never be. A all we got to no. do is pull a little ball on it and send it off. You know what I, I mean? I know, but that's what we get fixated on, and we've been doing that with the Celtics for years. Yeah. And then we fixate what, on what are we going to do instead of working Jimmy with Butler, what we got, yeah. Leonard, yeah. and stuff? But I think the one thing that's different from Danny, especially uh, I noticed from Danny to Brad, Brad is closer to the game and how it's played now. He's closer to the player and co- players and coaches in the league, and he's putting together a more viable team as a result. I think Danny was a little uh, too much ivory tower out in his golf course. Just oh, no to question, GM. last couple of years. Just talking to the GMs and not putting together a good team. When Danny got uh, some physical problems, that was it for Danny Ainge. He, he phoned it in. Yeah. He just played 18 of them. Danny did some good stuff. Don't get me wrong. Oh, but, in his time. But then, but then he kind of – every. It had to be a big, gigantic splash that he had to come out the winner in, or it wasn't happening. So things just stopped happening. Yeah, I think the Gordon Haywood disaster when he wouldn't even take uh, Turner was just the end. And, and I mean, it, we were all so excited when it happened, so I can't blame him. But to get nothing for <coughs> No, Gordon but I mean, Haywood. when we signed him. Yeah. You know what well, I mean? We got we nothing so for Go- he got nothing for Gordon Haywood. No. He got nothing for Al Horford. No. He got nothing for Kyrie Irving. No. I... You know, you can't let these blue chips... Tr- <coughs> now you're paying to get them back. Do you remember yeah. the start of that season before Hayward got hurt, though? How freaking excited we were. Of course, yeah, yeah. Hayward and And Irving. all disintegrated with that broken ankle right there. And then Irving went south on us, and everything just went awry. Now that we know what we know about Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, think about it. We had Brown, Tatum, Horford, Hayward, and Irving. That's a team that could win a t- title. Oh, yeah, it could have. We were ready. We, we had a They arrived. should have won that seventh game and been in the finals. Yeah. yeah. They, if, they, if Tatum doesn't choke it away. Yeah. Yeah. We were a Kyrie Irving away from, you know, the, then we had this guy, one of those elite stars that can, you know, get that shot with three seconds left. He it can make that play. You know what I mean? Well, there's he, no, nothing then he just, there. He then he just that. turned into be an absolute freaking psycho case. And mm-hmm. No, but Danny should have known that there was a possibility he wasn't going to sign here. He should have known it. I don't care what he said to the hey, Celtics listen, crowd. If he becomes available. Kyrie? You, Kyrie. I mean, the way he looked, the way he appeared, he was a star. When we played them oh, in course. the playoffs, I said, you know, he was on such another level. That oh I think it was God. the year before, yeah. two years before they beat us in the playoffs. Kyrie was at just a different level than no anybody question. on yeah. the Celtics. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I said, man, if we, why, we got to get a guy like that. And when we had a chance to get him. I was so excited. He was so such a talent. Well, he played really well against the Celtics too. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh, he played great goodness. against them this year too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's a great player. He's yeah. just insane. <laughs> he is no, nuts. And he's the vice president of the players. He's you. certifiably oh insane. God. But you should have known that. He just didn't get insane. We didn't realize they knew he was insane. They didn't know how insane. They didn't know. He, he's they didn't just know. so entitled. He thinks he's on another level than everyone else. Because he, he has is. so much natural ability, Joe. Because he's really and good yeah. at bouncing yeah. a basketball. And he's been kowtowed to his whole life. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And you know the thing I've hated about him. Everyone had to walk on eggshells for Kyrie. Hope he likes us. You know. It's like a pretty girl. You hope she likes me. I'll be nice to her. Hey, what do you want? I'll do oh, this, don't do you know? that. Kyrie might not. Yeah, like Kyrie. Don't write down the paper. He might, you know, he might not like Boston. He might leave. You know, mm. 
That's what I like about Tatum. I hate, why do we do? Why did we have to do that? We don't need that. We I know we're title town. I know we don't and, need to and, kiss and these now, guys' asses. And, uh, we're the ones spending our money for the tickets. Yeah. I know. And that's I, I do like uh, the pictures I've seen of Tatum. It looks like he's been working I've hard. That, yeah, he's built up. You know, usually he looks like olive oil out there. You know, well, he was. He got a little bigger last year. Let's see how he interacts with the rest. He still of the hasn't. Team. He still hasn't set, set foot in the paint. <laughs> well, Adoka <laughs> needs to humble him. Yeah. He needs to be yelling at Jason Tatum a lot. Got to make him work a little instead of standing out there like a diva. Oh, but yeah. the NBA walked this line. I'll leave. I'll go to L.A. That's it. The, the best player on any team gets, like, this special diva. Treatment. I'll leave. I'll take my ball and go to L.A. or Miami where the where the girls wear bikinis and the weather's warm. I know. Absolutely. Well, I'll go hook up with my friend Bradley and we'll, we'll uh, yeah. go off to someplace. Yeah. They all do it. We'll, yes. play, we'll play in Miami instead. Yeah. Well, boys, that was a great show. It's Fun. so good to be back here. Mm -hmm. We got all the little friends. All the tchotchkes. Uh, I want to thank, of course, everyone behind the scenes, Corbin and handsome Todd. The handsome just, one. It, it, yeah, I think he got more handsome during the course of the show. <laughs> if, we'll if, possible. To, you know, yeah. if possible. If <laughs> possible. We have the uh, Leroy, Leroy, We're make we have Leroy Neiman's uh, son painting a picture of Andrew. I think there's a crowd of girls out front waiting for <laughs> yes, him Yes, right they now. are. The groupies. <laughs> the groupies. <laughs> and, so. want to thank, of course, the fellas. Please so. check us out on our website at thegrandstudents.com and tune in again next Wednesday night at 6.30. For another edition of Grand Studios Live, I'm your host, Scott Kerman. Have a great and happy night. Elephants are in town. <laughs> Here comes the circus. <laughs> <laughs>